Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, as you can see here, I have a form field uh, that is actually just a password field, so I can type in uh, some values in here. And obviously, as you would expect from a password field in HTML, uh, the characters are starred out or you have these little circles here uh, that just re represent each character. Now, what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is creating this little um, show password box and this will apply for all password elements that you create on a page. Uh, so for example, let's go ahead and just duplicate uh, this password field here. We'll just pop a line break after it and then a new password field. Uh, so we can have sort of like as many password fields as we want. Um, so this can this will sort of globally attach to all uh, input types that or input fields that have a type of password. So I can go ahead and I can type in uh, a password in here uh, and then I can use this checkbox to actually show uh, the password in plain text. Uh, I can then go ahead and check that back out. Uh, and make it return to its hidden value. Uh, so I can then go ahead and type it in here as well uh, and do exactly the same thing. So depending on obviously how many password fields you have on your page or you know just use this as sort of like a global JavaScript uh, file, um, this will automatically create this checkbox. Uh, you can see that on my main page I don't actually have this checkbox present uh, because our JavaScript file will handle uh, all of that for us. So it's an interesting uh, you know, theory that you'd want a show password box next to a, uh, a password field uh, in order to let the user show the password that they're currently, um, currently uh, typing or have typed. And it's becoming more co common to allow people to show the passwords, um, you know, different things, uh, different scenarios people might want to be able to see their password if they're creating a particularly long password or, or something that they need to say paste in and double check uh, this is a really really nice feature that you can add uh, globally across your page to uh, ensure this works with all fields so we're going to be going ahead and creating this code um, but obviously the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and set up our password field because uh, there's a few important things we need to talk about uh, in that area so let's go over to our text editor and start from scratch and start to create this functionality. Okay, so over to our text editor. Obviously the first thing that we want to go ahead and do is actually create our password fields. So let's go ahead and uh, use input type equals password. Uh, and obviously this is important because this will only work with input uh, fields that have the type password. Obviously you don't want to give this functionality to plain text or an email field for example uh, or anything else like that because none of the others hash uh, or star out the password. Now when we create our input field uh, it will work with just this functionality like this. So it will work if you were to just go ahead and type input type equals password. However, we need to take into account that when we do this, that we're actually uh, in jQuery going to replace uh, this input field altogether with a text type. So what we're doing is the process involves getting rid of this field and then creating a new field, uh, but this time with a uh, type of text. And the reason I'm explaining this beforehand is because if we were to have a password field with, for example, an ID of something and a class of something. And we'll obviously need to give it a name as well because this is how you would, uh, you know, if this was if this belonged to a form, this was this would be how you'd read in that variable, uh, the variable value associated with the password. So you might have um, a name for this as well. Uh, and a variety of other uh, attributes as well. And what we're going to be doing is when we replace this, we're going to need to replace each attribute because it's going to remove the password field and create a new text one. And this is how we switch between it. There's no easy way to show the characters inside of the field unless you create or delete the password field and then you know give the, uh, give the value, the same password value to a text field. So that's how we're going to do it. That's the only way that we can actually do it. 
Uh, like I said, there's no feature that we can use to you know, unhide a password. It's not that easy. Uh, in the example I showed you, it looked easy and instant, uh, but in actual fact, it re re involves replacing this input field altogether. So now that we have uh, these, this ID, class, and name, I'll leave it like that because obviously uh, that just demonstrates, you know, the fields, the or the attributes that we want to go ahead and get, uh, and then you know put them back in when we replace this. So uh, a password field looks like this on a page. Uh, it's not much. It's just literally a password field. Uh, obviously, the content of it is uh, hidden. Um, I've in, I've uh, created a JavaScript file called ext.js, uh, which I've included on, on my page as well as jQuery. Uh, so we're going to be writing uh, all of our jQuery code in ext.js. Uh, there's no more code required for this index.php page. Uh, that's it. Uh, we're going to allow ext.js to handle the insertion of the checkbox.